people, how are we doing? Right, now let's get it out of the way, straight away. Yes, it's Movember, and I'm doing just that. So the beard has gone, and it's not a fake moustache, that is real. Anyway, so yeah, just get the comments out of the way. I know what you're thinking. What a nutter. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm here today, back in Suffolk. I haven't been here for a while, and I'm at a little place called Alton Water, which is this big reservoir behind me and it's sort of near the river Stour as well, so sort of south Suffolk, just over the border really from Essex and I'm doing a little short walk, about four miles I think it's out of this new book, this uh, like sort of short Suffolk walks book uh, I'm going to be using OS Explorer map 197 which is Ipswich, Felixstowe and Harwich, Woodbridge and Manningtree so uh yeah, it's going to be a good little walk this one and yeah, of course I'll be telling you a little bit about Alton Water there's the big tower of the Royal Hospital School building over there as I say we'll be visiting a little section of uh, the River Stour as well so I passed through this way a long time ago when I did the Store and Orwell walk with my mate Richard so uh, some of it's familiar but I say I've, I've never been here before really cool. We'll see what the weather's like, it's a little bit windy. Um, I found this uh, this car park here, so my car's just there. There's a car park sort of further up that way, which I think you're meant to start the walk from, but the walk passes this one and this was a quieter car park, so three pounds to park your car here though, so it's not too bad. Right, anyways, let's get ready to ramble, let's get ready to walk. If you like walking beside water, you'll enjoy this scenic route. Alton Water is the largest area of inland water in Suffolk. Opened in July 1987, the purpose-built reservoir supplies water to Ipswich and South Suffolk. Other pursuits here available include sailing, windsurfing and cycling. The walk includes a stretch of path beside the River Stour providing spectacular views over the water and into Essex on the other side. Here you will find an idyllic and peaceful scene, broken only by the tide lapping onto the foreshore and the distant call of wading birds. This here is the large concrete overspill uh, at the dam of the reservoir. Stretches all the way downhill there.
ahead of us is the old boathouse at Holbrook Creek. How lovely is this? I've been here, as I say, before when I did the Store and Orwell walk with my friend Richard. Uh, it's on the channel somewhere, so check it out. And yeah, it's lovely. Last time I was here though, I think the tide was in. The tide's way out today. In the distance, you might just be able to make out the River Stour. And then the other side of that is Essex. Way. <laughs> I love this this part of East Anglia, the River Stour, like the estuary. You, you know, you've got Suffolk and then the other side, Essex, and it sort of showcases, I think, two of the best bits of of both counties. Um, North Essex is particularly nice, as is the coast. Um, um, really, I mean, really, it's only the middle of Essex that I think's a bit, a bit boring and a little bit naff. And of course, stay away from the towns. Um, <laughs> it's Towie country, but uh, yeah, sort of the, uh, yeah, the coastline and sort of, you know, it borders sort of rivers and stuff like that. I think's really nice. And then, yeah, for Suffolk, I would say. Really, the Suffolk coast is is amazing. I've not really explored too much of the Suffolk Norfolk border, so that's something I'd like to do. And yeah, sort of the you know sort of the Stour, uh, the Suffolk side of the Stour. As I said, it's particularly nice. Um, but yeah, I found a few nice places in Suffolk. Really, ah, here we go. I remember these. The store and all where walk sign. The old boathouse here at Holbrook Creek is all fenced off. This is why. Asbestos! Avoid that stuff at all costs. Wow, look at this. Looks like there's been a bit of a fire as well. Wow. That's a shame, isn't it? We're now following the River Stour wall or like sort of the sea wall as it were we're gonna have lovely views for this section of of course the river and into Essex lovely this is absolutely lovely you've got the seabirds over here it's brilliant apparently the river stour is up to a mile wide in some places. Blimey. And so and then it will flow out to sea that way. Of course other side of the water as well you've got places like Miss Lee, Manning Tree, of course home of uh, Matthew Hopkins the Witchfinder General. Back sort of during the time of the English Civil War
the Stour River wall now and we're heading towards the little church at Stutton which I've been to before when I did the store in Orwell oh look at this there's uh, alpacas or llamas the Royal Hospital school buildings are over there look at this Not meant to feed them though. You can see the chiming clock tower and hear uh, the chiming clock tower of the Royal Hospital School building uh, throughout this walk. It was King William and Queen Mary II who founded the Royal Hospital for Seamen at Greenwich in 1694. The Royal Charter also made provision for the maintenance and education of children of Royal Naval Seamen. He said seamen. <laughs> the establishment moved to Holbrook in 1933 and nowadays comprises a co-educational senior school. It is set in 200 acres of Suffolk countryside. We're approaching St Peter's Church in Stutton. This lovely sort of green area here and I think a big farmhouse over there so I think they look after this land but the footpath runs through it it's right by the Royal Hospital School so I remember from doing this uh, with Richard on the store and Orwell walk this is part of the route it's a nice little church A church has stood on the present site at Stutton for the past 900 years. The imposing West Tower of St Peter's dates from the 15th century and serves as the church porch. It's a lovely looking little church. Right, you know what time it is. It's church time. Let's go and have a look. Unfortunately it's locked again. What can you do? What I was going to tell you about when we get inside is there's a really nice stained glass window and yeah, described by Simon Knott on his Suffolk Church's website as outstanding. The Millennium Window, thought to have been installed at the turn of the last century, continues to attract visitors. And it's yeah, it's quite a well-known stained glass window. If you're into your stained glass windows, <laughs> I think this might be it. I'm not sure because it's the outside. I can't see, but I think it commemorates sort of World War Two airmen and sort of uh, the RAF and things like that. And it's sort of like a war memorial or something. But as I say, they sort of installed it yeah for the millennium, which is pretty cool. Right, we're back at Alton Water. It's been a good little walk that. You've got these uh, picnic benches here along along by the, the water. They've even got little barbecues with them as well. Now that's pretty cool. I've not seen them before. So you can really sort of, you know, you could like really sort of come down here, proper picnic, have a barbecue. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. I don't know, I suppose it's, uh, it's the simple things in life, simple things please simple minds anyway. There's the, uh, the clock tower of the Royal Hospital School again over there. And my car is in the distance there, looks like someone else is there as well. Right, well I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave the video here guys, as I'm heading back to the car. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. As I say, it's the start of a new book of hopefully many more great walks to follow so let us know what you think I'm sure you're probably gonna let me know what you think of the Tash <laughs> and yeah it's been a good one this so if you haven't subscribed already 
then please do to all of you that have subscribed already thank you as always let us know what you think of this walk and yeah just get in the comments as usual right you'll see me and the tash in the next one see you later guys cheers bye bye